Listen, y'all, it's going to be an amazing day. Welcome to Bookie's Place. You know what we do. We don't talk about the glam and the glitz. We talk about the grit and the grind. And we bring your favorite people. Today, I have in the house the one and only. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me. The one and only, the music maestro, Mike Aramuye. Yay! Hey, Bukwe! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Bukui, I'm very well. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me, Buki. Man, Thank you so we've much. Been rocking since the 60s, you know that. We've been rocking since the 60s. <laughs> Have you? Wow. wow, it's good to see you. It's well so done. good. Whoa. To see you. It's so good to I see love, you. I love the background. I love that's me right there. Is that not me? Is that not my camera? That's you. That's you, man. You're in my house right now. You're in my house. You're in my house. Ah, excellent. Mr. Welcome How to Bookie's Place. We need you to Thank share you. your story in this season. You know, mm. stories that will make us think if Mike could be down like this and he got up, mm. who am I? Mm. If he could be this depressed and this angry with life and he got up. I have no excuses, mm. you know, mm. and it all comes together with your story, mm. you know. So mm. you start from where you were born, how you grew up and everything. I just flow with you. I just flow with you. Okay. You know, um, I remember just a few years ago, uh, my mom came to this country. Uh, she came and she was sharing um, how I was born, yeah. And I'd never... Maybe she had told me this story, but it, had, it didn't. It never got to me like it got to me this last time that she shared it. You know, I was the last one of eight children. Wow. Last of eight, yeah. And I was the only. So my the old my older siblings were born in Lagos. My my dad was transferred to Kaduna in um, Kaduna State, and I was the only one that was born in Kaduna. Now, when I was born. It wasn't like they were over, they were struggling too much, but, you know, they were barely, my parents were barely taking care of my older seven siblings, you know, and there was, they were not thinking about having another child. I mean, that's, so we had seven, that's more than enough. But then my mom was very, very, she was telling me she was very active in writing plays for, you know, we, we attended White Garment Church, CNS Church. And then my mom was so active in the choir. She's still, she's 86 now, and she's still in the choir. She still wow. sings, yes, 86. <laughs> she's still very strong, mm -hmm. you know. And then she said she was, she, she wrote, a, she wrote um, a play, you know, then for their, um, what, what, they used to call it, Egbe. So how would I call it? Band, their, their society, you know, they're in the church. So, and she was so passionate about it. And after the play was so successful, and then, you know, a prophetess said to her, you know, God said he will reward, he will reward you with a reward. You're going to have another child. And she was like, <laughs> another, another, another what? I mean, yeah. And this, she was, at, she was 40 at this time. And she already had, um, you know, all her children. She wasn't have, planning on having any more. She said, mm -hmm. nah, no, nah, we're just, you know, we're still trying to look after the seven that we've had, you know. Mm -hmm. But somehow, as God will have it, mm -hmm. yes, they had me, you know. In a way, it wasn't that like I was planned in terms of, you know, um, my mom this, didn't plan me. But then look at what God has done through me from, from when I was small. They had me, I, my life had been very, very different academically in every sense. My, I've, you know, my path had been so very, 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 very unique, you know. And so for my parents, they didn't think, oh, wow, we, we didn't, we didn't need this. We didn't need an, another child, but God still because of the plans. And that's why I know there are, there are plans for my life. Every time I go through stuff, I would always say to myself, just after, since I've known that story, no, I was never, I've never been an accident. And there's no situation in my life that is an accident. And I speak to somebody speaking to me, hearing me right now. God's plans are perfect. There's nothing that is coincident with God. It's weird that we get surprised. Have you ever seen a situation that shocks God? 
Ah, mm -hmm. God was that you think you can imagine God say, Ah, you I didn't think that. Ah, oh, wow. God, oh, me, wow. oh, me, oh, God, oh, 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 God, oh, my. that God will say, Oh, oh, wow, ah, but that was that wasn't my plan. No, He knew the end. This God that knew the end from the beginning, He knows the end from the beginning. He began the beginning before the beginning began. You don't understand, like before any before thing. That's God. So that is things that my, my views about things in life have, uh, you know, have changed because I know there's nothing that happens by asking them. One, the, the part you have to play is to consistently pray, consistently be, you know, um, in, in God's, uh, to pray to be in his, in his will. In his, that's it. In, in the, that's the word I was looking for. Always make sure that you are you are aligned to the plans of God. Make sure never this is a prayer upon whatever I do, I do not want to miss your purpose, your plan for my life. Because sometimes God's plan might be very, very inconvenient. It will take you through an inconvenient route. And to you, you are like, Are you still is God still there? I've been there when I've asked God, God, are you, you know, and I'll share one one major thing that I've, I really don't talk about, and I'll, I'll share at some point. Now, um, so I always know now that whatever I'm going through, God has a bigger purpose. You know, from that, my beginning, when my mom told me that, I said, okay, no wonder. You know, I remember we were living somewhere in Mina. When, so when I was born, we moved to Mina in Niger State, you know, still in the north. I'm a very northern guy, you know, um, Arewa boy, big time. So because all my, my early days were, were in the north. I remember very one so, so because when we spoke now, I just began to God somehow God began to bring these things to me. These are some of the things I've never really shared. I don't think I've ever shared this. Now, there was a time uh, we were in Mina and we lived we lived on a street called Obomosha Road, and then the Oba of Yoruba in Mina lived in that um, in that uh, community. Uh, we called it Angua. In in Hausa is that community, that Angua, that area, and we live very next to the King, uh, the Oba of Yoruba's place. And I remember very well seven, uh, seven or so. One man died, one old man died, and seven children died one after the other in the space of maybe um, um, maybe one week. And I remember the fear I had that, oh, I, was I going to be the next? Was I going to be the next? I was, I was not, I'm, I'm probably a, would have been maybe 12 or 13 years old. But I remember the fear that came on me every night. Oh, is the angel of death coming? Even though I didn't understand it, but now I, you know, I would fear that, you know, um, this and I remember very, very, very well. Just talking again, I remember I said to myself, "No more. I am not going to be a part of this thing." And in my own way, I prayed about it. In my own way, then you know, I prayed. About, I, I didn't understand it so much, but then that passed as well. And that th that whatever it was didn't didn't take me. Now, bringing it to what we have right now in, in, in COVID nineteen. Um, I think it's a test. I'll, I'll, I'll come back, but I just a, a bit of diversion. I think it's a test for everyone. You know, this has tested our faith in every sense. It has tested what we believe in. It has tested our Christianity, our belief, our way of worshiping God, going to church. John, it has tested everything. Trust me, if we continue to pray, I know a lot of people are praying. This has brought a lot of people closer to God. If we continue to pray, this is work out for our good. This will work out as individuals and as a body, as, as a body of Christ, as, as, as the, in, in general, all over the world. This will be, make us better people. This will, it will end well. Because, you know, just, you know, I mean, for every, everybody in life, put it this way, for any, any exam, any test that you have in life or in, in academics is to take you to the next level. Before you are given a certificate for mm -hmm. anything, you have to be tested. This whole generation is being tested with COVID-19 and will come through. But we must come through with the right mindset, 
and we must influence within the place of prayer what the outcome of this whole thing is. And that's why just before this, I was getting so, you know, very passionate about this matter mm-hmm. because we have to come to a place where we need to be very, very, very serious with our, our faith to be sure about who we believe and if we need to go back to be sure, because you see, when you're proclaiming something you're not sure about, it's not as strong as when you as when you are confident about what you know. You know, um, there's one thing we're confident about: whether we whether we like it or not, there will always be night and day. It's as sure as that. You yeah. must come to that. You must come to that place of faith where you know your God, that you know what God is God. No matter what happens in your mind, God is God. Hence why you would accept sometimes when things like our brothers and our sister, our brother and sister that we've just lost, that is where the supremacy of God comes in. But then it doesn't stop him being who he is, the supreme, that's why he's supreme. You can't, he doesn't stop God from who he is. Now I'll go back to my story. So just, just, that was just a quick diversion, Mm -hmm. you know, and then I, you know, somehow I got into music. Now my mom, I'd always been in music as well. Somehow she would write songs in her own way, you know, that not like as a professional, you know. My sister, my first sister, um, so our second born, who is the first woman, sec- first lady in our, in our family, she's 60 now. She used to play the trumpet a bit, you know. So that was, that's the only uh, thing I had to music. But then I took it further. So I became part of the, you know, from as, as young as I can remember, you know, I, I have been into music, playing the local drums in church, you know, doing everything, anything music, I was part of it, you know. And then, of course, I took it further than the other kids. The tradition then in, in CNS was for every child to learn every instrument. But somehow, I took it a lot further, you know. And so... What I'm trying to bring about is everything that you went to. So, so there are many things you don't have choices about in life. How you come to this world, the, the race, your color. You know, there's so many things. You, you know, these things are divine. You know, and that's why we must always, sub, you know, give that thing to the one who made us. He knows the reason why he created us the way we are. He knew the reason why he planted you, Buki, first in Nigeria, and then he took you to the United States to begin to do exploits. Then, you know, and UK these reasons. First. UK first. Uh, don't forget. UK UK first. Okay. I'm telling you, and then, and then, can you imagine? And every step of the way. If you, you will, it keeps unveiling and revealing you to yourself. And you can't see the end of it. You can have a glimpse of how, what you will become, but the details you may not know. Most times you don't have the details, including the hardship, including where you've been at crossroad. I remember we were touring America one time. I remember you asking, I'm not sure, should I this country or should I, should I <laughs> kill what? I remember very well. I don't know if you, I you know. I, I, should, I remember. I remember. Uh, you know, we were, we were in Arlington then. I, I think I remember yeah, in Texas, Arlington, was in, yeah. was in Texas. Yeah. Uh, and then we, you were, you know, like, ah, you're not sure. Should you, should I? But you're here now. God made way through whatever you had to go through to be where you are now. I know, I know about your testimony. I'm sure you shared a bit of it a few, I don't know, when, when, you know, when you got that thing. So I'm saying that God has every part of your life is God has a plan for you, you know, and these are the things that will make you every, every step of, even in those situations, you will still see pockets of his hand. You will see him. You will still see his hand. He's that, winking. Hey, guys, He's winking. I'm I here. Got yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with you, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, so, but somehow God made my path in music. I didn't choose music in a way. I, I believe music chose me, you know, I didn't plan to do music full time. I loved music. My life was music, but I also loved academy, uh, academics. I also wanted to either be an engineer or a doctor. So I became an engineer. I studied electrical electronics engineering, but that didn't take me anywhere. I didn't even finish, you know, I did, I was the best, was one of the best few students and I didn't finish. And, and the rest of the students were like, is this guy 
is it all right why would if anybody not mike i mean mike is you know because I, I used to do tutorials for people imagine so they miss me those who will sit with me during exam miss me you know it was not i was not the right but some somehow of course now i can look back and understand oh wow so this is the reason why so this is the reason why so it will be with covid you know a lot of things will come out both uh, in terms of world in uh, at, uh, at large and in our lives where we will say wow so this is why this covid in 19 hindsight. This, in yes, hindsight in hindsight in, in hindsight you'll be like oh my god so this is the reason oh wow because something is about to happen god is about to do something it will always shake always shake the, before it does anything new it will shake it will shake the nation something major this is i mean something major we've never had a situation in our own generation we know it happened over 100 years ago where you know but none of us saw that mm-hmm. yeah none of us saw that we were not part of it and things have changed from then to now population world population is a lot more like how many times more you know technology things have changed but god somehow prepared us for this time you know god prepared us for this time we might not have realized it you know so and then there was another thing that happened in my life that you know um of course I'm, you probably know but i i don't share because i don't want to glory in that i don't um i i don't want to come across as saying oh it was a good thing or you understand because i i had um my first marriage didn't work out well and i remember i tried committing suicide a few times you know it was that bad that's something i i usually don't talk about but i i believe it was one of the things as deadly as it seemed then that was what changed my life for good you know um so i thought my life was over i thought you know I've, every other thing at my on my life in my life i've done fast on the fast track you know my career my career my you know my work with god and then that happened you know and it wasn't that, like i said it wasn't like i didn't pray you know i prayed so i went to the mountains because i i mean when i'm in nigeria i travel out of lagos state to pray i do that up to today until the last few months because of uh, kidnapping you know <laughs> <laughs> you know but usually i would just travel i could leave lagos anytime just you know and go and pray so i did that and i thought you know what well, god come on this is it you know but even though god was quiet you know sometimes like i said when he's quiet there's something very clear he's saying wait and that we don't seem to sometimes we don't hear especially when it comes to cho- choosing a partner when it comes to getting married for so a lot of women ah me that waited all this long and now I've found somebody who is saying I will marry you you, you know <laughs> and so for for men too you know I was doing everything right I pray to God I you know I was settled I wasn't messing around you know and I thought yeah this was it because that time things seemed to be working so well for me so i just assumed i just attributed that to ah okay this is the reason why but sometimes god is just saying wait you know and so of course i went ahead you know and less than six months you know the uh, the marriage ended you know and because of that I was very annoyed and because there was no clear reason why that happened do you understand you know there was no reason really and I went to God like are you kidding me God did I not pray like how would you watch me go through something that you knew would fail you know and your God that knew the end from the beginning why would you allow that you know why would you why would you so in a way you know how um you keep malice with god you see i was playing very well i was ministering but i was battling in my spirit i was ministering but trust me it was from here that's why i know that there is fake ministration and there's real ministration i have been fake at some point because you know i was preaching what i wasn't sure i believed in i was saying things that i i personally i had issues with i couldn't i couldn't say you know what well, in my out of my own testimony i couldn't say yes god is because when i got back to my closet i was asking god 
God, you're not this, you're that. You, you said this, you said, I followed you, I did what, so is this what I get? So I got to commit, trying to commit suicide. Um, you believe it or not? Because for me, I wasn't good at accepting failures or whatever, and, you know, because I, I, when, I, when I do anything, I put my all in it. So I thought because I put my all in that thing, you know, you know, I went the way I should, went through the right process, you know, nothing, no, I didn't cut any corners. Maybe I did now in hindsight, maybe I did because I didn't wait to hear completely a definite word from God. We cannot assume sometimes about God. If you're not clear about anything, please don't go ahead. Just, just wait. Please. God someone just wants you to wait. Is either that he's working on you or he's working on something or either something he wants time itself to reveal. Nothing else will reveal but time. You know, so I was so, you know, I was angry with God. I wasn't, you know, my normal, I mean, I just didn't, my life didn't have bearing. I was, people saw me as successful, but I, in my heart, I was not happy. I was not, I was, I was not, in fact, that was one of the reasons why I started veering to, I said, you know what, my music is not, not just inspirational. It's not just gospel. That's why I started redefining my music, you know, because I, in my consciousness, I wasn't sure of what, what I was preaching. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure if it was the writing. I wasn't sure because, you know, that's why for you to stand up there, Bookie, you must have a personal experience with God. See, you can't worship a God that you don't know. You don't know. You you no. can't preach a you can't preach a uh, uh, you can't preach a message that you haven't, you haven't lived. Been, yeah, yes. you haven't lived. You haven't had some kind of incline, you know incline, yeah. yeah with God. If you have, you can't. It does. It doesn't come from power. It, it doesn't come with the same power with somebody who's been there, who's seen fire, who's coming out to tell you about fire, who's seen hell. Who is coming to tell you how there's victory over hell? You have you are not you cannot talk about somebody who's been who will tell you about healing because they've been into some serious sickness and they came out of it. So I that time I was just not sure, you know, just but then and I said, listen, I would never get married again. Never in my like if I couldn't if I didn't do it right that time, there was no way I could ever get it right. As far as I was concerned, I'd had no confidence in my cho choice or in what I believed that was God's choice because it had failed me before. I couldn't, you know, maybe I trusted in my... At that time, I thought God was part of it. I thought it was God. Of course, in hindsight, in hindsight right now, God was part of it all along. He knew everything. He wanted me to make that mistake, to teach me an eternal mistake that would touch lives, that would change my personal life, and touch a lot of lives as well and prepared me for where the real place he wanted me to be so that I would value the institution called, called marriage so that I would know that that institution is about God. You understand? So that's why there's so many people who will rush into, into marriage. Many, they come out because it wasn't the plan of God. A lot of it is from society, for a lot of women, societal um, pressure is because, ah, <laughs> Uh, uh, your sister, your even some a lot of parents. Ah, uh, your friend is getting married. Do ah, uh, you know? Don't tell I mean, me we about say, it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, that you the only thing is for you to be going to your friends. Why with your own? Do you understand that alone? People just who is who is coming? Oh yeah, you want to marry me? Yes, I do from far away. Do you understand? But sometimes God really wants to cook us. God, God wants us to wait. He knows that we're not ready. He that made us know, knows that. Listen. This is not the right thing. This is not the right time for you. But we insist. Because we pray, God will still allow us. Some things we, God allows because just to tell you that, listen, I will not fail in my word. I will honor my word. So when I went to the, the mountains to pray, he allowed everything. He allowed it to, it to happen. But I didn't wait for what, sometimes we, we, we come in, see, so prayer is about communication with God. One thing that we, we get wrong is we believe that I want this, do this for me, do this. How many times do we pause to say, what is God even saying? Till alone, what, what is it? What is it coming? That's not communication. At the end of the day, you're, you're just one way. It's about both ways. It's dual. You need to hear God. And that's Vicky I'm learning right now, even up till now that to get to hear what he's saying. 
you're quick to pour out what you have to say. But how about your creator? How about the maker? How about finding out what his will? You know, and these days the prayer I always pray is let your will be done concerning my life. I'm telling you, all of this, I can pray, I can say this is what I want, this is what I want, but let your will alone be done. Even Jesus Christ, our Savior, pray that prayer. You know, he said, not my will. My will is just so that it will be, uh, let me just open my, 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 my hand and let these people destroy, let them know that I'm, I'm the son of God. But he said, not my will, but your will alone be done. Now, if God, if Jesus, our make, our Christ, the one who came to die for us, knows that the will of his father, you know, is paramount. We must all, that's a very a big lesson in our walk with God in life because there will be ten temptations. You know, our, I mean, ours may not be at the wilderness where t- Satan himself will come. It will be in diverse ways. COVID-19 has tested the whole church. It's a wilderness, come, though. It is a yeah. wilderness. This is a it wilderness. Is, it is. That's a real way. Listen, this is world wilderness. I'm right here now. We don't know when we're traveling. We can only pray and cause God's will to be done. Let us learn the re- re- real lessons that he wants us to learn from this. Let us know, as, especially as the body of Christ, there's a major lesson that God is trying to teach us. I'm sure we're seeing it. That You know what? It's not even in the church, in the building, in, in the garden alone. You know, And any wise church now should know that they must keep their internet, you know, their internet, um, their internet going so that because you're not, what the devil didn't know was that people who would normally not come to your church somehow will stumble on your videos, on your broadcast, and they've heard. So you have more reason, you know, people who can't come to your church, who cannot physically come, you know, but you're, you're reaching them. So many churches you know to focus technology, let us use it to our, to our own benefit for the propagation of Christ. If Jesus Christ was alive today, he will be on, he will be on, he will be on, uh, on Instagram and I'll be following him, you know. And... <laughs> <laughs> He'll be verified. He'll have like, yeah. <laughs> like more than trillion followers and he'll be responding to my, t- my, my DM, you know. So, so. <laughs> So that's a lesson that we must learn. So God has a way. Anything that you're bringing, going through right now, I don't know who is watching, who is listening to us. Trust me, there is God in it. Just know where God is in it. God sometimes wants us to seek him. He wants to get our attention. He wants the church to get his attention. Of course, he got our attention when everything stopped, when we couldn't go to church, when we what we thought was church. He told us that that's exactly, that's really not me. But you must learn. For you to now go back and enjoy church, you must value what your you what church so god has a way of teaching us you know the things that we should make our priorities as churches as as the body of christ he has he's made us know no he has made us to know to know these things so these are things that we must not waste you know so whatever you're going through there is always god in it there's somewhere god is trying to speak to you let us always try to listen to what god is saying in any situation you understand? So do do not do anything just on your own. Please always, always seek for what God is saying, not just what you want. Like our father said, Jesus Christ said, not your will, but my will be done. Wow. Not your will, but my will be done. Uh, yes. so, what if someone, so, so what if someone is listening now and they're like, mm-hmm. I don't even know how to hear God. Like, mm-hmm. how does he come and say, Bookie? <laughs> does he speak Yoruba? Does he speak English? Does he speak his ears directly? Mm. How does someone who doesn't know how to hear God hear, you know, learn from you? How did you grow that ability? Bible says, My sheep know me and they hear my voice. It comes by knowing God, it comes by having a relationship with God. If my son calls me now amongst thousands of kids, I know that that's my son right there. I recognize his voice. It comes with walking with God. It is not impossible. A lot of people have it as gifts. It's not hard for them. Some people would, like you said, have it. You just need to walk. You, there's no way. When you seek God, you will find him. He said, ask, it shall be given. Seek, 
you shall find knock it shall be opened unto you can you go on that voyage of asking seeking and knocking and see if you're not hearing he has he will speak to you there's no definite way that god speaks she god speaks like to us yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shane. god <laughs> speaks god will speak to us the way you will understand the way he will speak to you book is different from the way he will speak to me sometimes it might be the same way. sometimes it's clear you will hear him clearly you know but it depends on how much you have worked with him when you work with somebody you will understand <laughs> so when you work with god you will hear him you, you, there's no way you can't you know just like we said you can't have a relationship with somebody you don't know you must let try to i am i'm not i'm not saying i 100 percent know him because that's why I have made my mistake. Because if you work with God, you will not. There are some mistakes that you will not. And if He allows you to go through mistakes, just like He allowed um, Job to be tested, you know, the devil enemy. It wasn't like God. Job wasn't working with God. Job, Job worked with God. It was man, a man who followed God, who loved God. But then God still allowed the devil to test him. So sometimes we go through things like in life. It's not because of the things we did. Or the things we didn't do, it's just, it's just God wants to show Himself. It's just it's supremacy. This is how we I want it. And Jotoba, you cannot. I want it. There's a Yoruba thing that says, "And tell on undale jo jo ni ufe apil imbolo fe gbejo lo." You know, you got God has judged. You know, when it says somebody that God has judged, you say, oh, "I want to appeal." Who, where would you? It's so sometimes God just He just wants to show up like listen, I am who I am. I am the ultimate. I'm supreme. I'm 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 you know, my supremacy no holds no bound. Nobody, you know, nobody's above me, nobody's beside me. What I say is the end. If I tell you, if you ask me, is this five fingers? And I tell you seven fingers, trust me, it becomes seven fingers as soon as you see what's my, that is God for you. He never lies. Yeah. Uh -huh. So in every situation, if you know that about God, honestly, you will worry less and you, you will seek him more. Okay. God, you're not saying this. What are you saying? You know, try to, to understand God. I'm telling you, Bukit, that's where I am right now. And I am enjoying it big time. I am learning so quickly. I am, and the credit, what, what will I give credit to? COVID-19, because of course, it's made separated me. It's made me to, you know, to begin to. Stop, yes. Yes, stop. It wants you, that's, and it's, that's what he's saying to the whole church. Stop, wait a minute, reevaluate. Let's not be quick. What is God saying? How should God be, how should church be run? How, you know, that is what God is saying right now. Mm. You know, well, so. because um, I look around me, and what I think in my head is when the children of Israel were moving to the mm. promised land, because that generation displeased God, He already mm. made up His mind they were not going mm. to see the promised land. Mm. But you know, the funny thing is, when we read those things, we just read them. But the truth is, they were still moving towards the promised mm -hmm. land like they were mm -hmm. going to be there. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like they sat down and said, because as yeah, we yeah, get sure. city, they were still moving. Ah, when we get mm -hmm. to the promised land, oh, this is what we will do. This is, you know? So, and I'm seeing a lot of leaders now that mm -hmm. they don't understand what God is doing in this moment. Mm -hmm. And, it's and like, they're not trying to find out. And they're not trying to find out. No, you guys have to come to church. You have to come mm -hmm. to church. You have to come mm. to church. And I'm seeing, mm. and I'm like, you don't understand that the church is more than just the four walls. I don't care. Yeah. Stop on. Make sure people mm. come. And I'm like, wow. Uh, mm. You know, so every time I see, I, I, I see that situation happening, I remember that part. Because when I mm. read the Bible, I like to, I'm a writer, right? So when I'm, mm. when I'm writing, when I'm reading, I read like I'm the author. Mm. When mm. they were, in the wilderness, God already said, hey, <laughs> You won't get there. You won't get there. <laughs> but they were already moving and planning mm. towards the promised land. But God already mm. had a jo uh, Joshua, Joshua. And, mm. Caleb and all these people that he, he had planned. Okay, this is the generation. And I'm won wondering now that could it be, let's not finish it, but you shall know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> because, because a lot of older people don't get it. It's the new mm. generation churches that are saying, don't come out. 
You guys stay mm. at home. Let's do it mm. online. And the older ones mm. are saying, so you have to come up. Mm. You have to come mm. up. Wear mm. your gloves, put your... Mm. <laughs> you know the it's just like what we the things we do now were uh -huh. taboo they were taboos mm -hmm. many years ago see the world is changing even though the word of god is the same but god expects us to be able to adapt you know not losing the quality not mm -hmm. losing the integrity of his word to still mm -hmm. adapt imagine a lot of churches before the lockdown we're not mm -hmm. i know a, a number of churches who never did anything online and when 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 um covid came they became stuck you see i was sharing with one of one of my friends some time ago uh, an artist as well and now because i was encouraging him to to post he's so gifted and i said listen you have to put things online. I was in your place before. I was very laid back. You see this Instagram? I started late. Until God scolded me that, listen, Josh, what, what are you trying to prove? Every means to reach out to people, you must use it. Listen, like I said, if Jesus was, was here in our time, he would be on Instagram. I'm telling you, because that is, you must hear Every avenue, you say, go ye into the world. How many places can you go in the world? But if by your Instagram, what you're doing now, you can reach out to people. How many people are online right now? Wherever they're watching, they're not in America. Everyone, I'm here, you're in America. Look at what is happening. The word is still spread. You know, it, it's, been, it's still being spread, regardless of locations. Regardless, reg so God has, is using internet to break down. So I was telling my friend, you mm. need to start posting stuff because God will ask you what you do with your gift. You're mm. not, you're not, you cannot, there's no excuse. Just mm. reach out there. Whether they see, but you know you have done your bit, but guess what? Somebody, one, somebody somewhere will be blessed by what you're doing. I'll tell you, Bookie, two and a half years ago, see, <laughs> God told me to start releasing almost three years ago. What am I saying? God told me to start releasing a song every day, every every week to release a song for him. And I was like, ah, okay, how? Maybe on Instagram. He said on every avenue, every platform I have, release a song. Ah, So I said, okay, yeah, I'll wait till I have the right camera. You know, when I have the right things, you know, I want everything to be set, get my studio set up, blah, blah, blah. And I was procrastinating. And one day, God, I, I could, I'm telling you, Bookie, I tell you no lie, I heard God in a way like almost smacking me that start. And that day, just in, you know, I came down to my sitting room and I did my first song. I call it 59 Seconds Insta Worship. Every, for every week from three years now, every single weekend, I release a song, sometimes covers, Sometimes a God inspires me. Now, I thought, so in obeying God, tell, let me tell you what I learned. I learned production just in obeying him. Big time. My last album, I mean, I, I produced my other albums. Not like I didn't produce, but in this, in this one, this particular one, from the beginning, from sequencing the song, from playing the keys, from playing the bass, from playing the drums, from mixing the album, I did it. And how did that come? Because every other week, I was there mixing and learning to use, you know, I started with Audacity, then I went into Logic, and, you know, I'm producing fantastically right now, you know, but God was teaching me. I'm, that's not where I'm going on. No, it's interesting then, because your, ah. what you're saying is a principle. It's really a principle. David, yeah. was, David, David was there because he was yeah. abandoned. Yes. You know, he was there, David. Yeah. David was there yeah. playing to the goats. And, and everything, yeah. He Nobody didn't know was watching. that was what was going to take him to the palace. Yes. So when he was just depressed and maybe his brothers were like, you bastard, go out, you mm -hmm. know. You could mm -hmm. see them mm -hmm. and be writing and singing. He didn't know that mm -hmm. relationship with God was going to take him somewhere. He didn't know Hallelujah. that the pain of the mm -hmm. or whatever yeah. was going to take mm -hmm. him to the palace, you know. Mm -hmm. And all the while, he didn't know he was in alignment with destiny. And mm. you know what they said? Do not despise the days of little beginnings. Really some beginning, people say, yeah. 
I can't. That's exactly what this show is about. Because a lot mm. of people, they take their own little dream and they compare mm. it with Mike's big uh, product. And in their mm. mind, they're like, no, lie, lie, I can never they be didn't. like that. Uh, you know? But <laughs> everything, it's, the Bible says, whatever your hands find to do, do it mm. to God and not mm. a man because mm. it is part of your destiny. It is mm. part as long as you're not doing it grudgingly. See, now, mm. like you said, when I read the scriptures, I don't just read it. It says pray mm. for those that despisefully use you. Because if mm. your perspective changes and you realize that, oh, they think they are using me. But God is mm. using this to mm. teach me to something for my future. You, you would go there through you go. it. Not mm. then. Shabi, that's how they always do me. Only yeah, yeah. You will not do yeah. it well. But yeah. if and understand that if God allowed this, and that was the mm. confidence I think Job had. Yeah. If God mm. allowed this, it yes. will work out for my good. If we have Hallelujah. to that point as Christians that, eh, mm. if God is allowing, because like you said, it's not like mm. God is in heaven and then, you know, something happens, God now says, hey, ah, me, hey, 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 yeah, so I mean, like some 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 people don't know that. Um, I know that some some saxophonists will say, "Oh, uh, uh, or musicians, oh, we're playing in church. Should we play in church? They are treating us bad." I'm like, listen. Sometimes God wants to teach you how to follow because it's, if you don't learn how to follow, you can't you can't be a leader, a true leader. If you don't know how to serve, you may not be able to to lead. Make, make it. Point, you will point, not. Point, Point at any artist that you're, think about any, any gospel artist you're looking at. If one served somewhere, been loyal somewhere, their names have not been heard, you know, you didn't know oh, them. Yes. You didn't, you know, for years, you just you talk about Sinatch. How long has it been with Pastor Chris before he brought out? Do you understand? I was, I mean, Ron Kenoli, one, like a few years ago, I was really embarrassed. He's, he was serving a ba in, in a Baptist church long. It was just no, somewhere, no, nobody knew him. Somehow, God here. brought him, <laughs> you know, God brought him out and use him, just <laughs> use his music to liberate the praise and worship in Africa, you know, to inspire people like us. Do you understand? God is preparing you wherever you are. They might not treat you well. Make sure that God wants you to be there in the first place. See, that's it comes to just it all comes down to hearing God and knowing what God wants us to do. If God wants you to stay in a place as a musician, stay there, learn whatever. They doesn't mean that they will treat you with love, it's because God that God told you to stay here, so they will treat you nice. No, they didn't hear when God told you, so they probably will treat you anyhow because they don't. If the pastor is not spiritual enough, and sometimes they are spiritual, but God is just not aligning it because God wants to learn you, God, God wants to teach you how to serve. Because he wants to make you a leader. So you have been in the shoes of those following you. You know how to treat them better. You know how to treat the ones who are... Some people come, they don't look... I mean, when I, when, when we, when I go to House on the Rock, I didn't look like somebody who would be an artist. I looked like a session man forever to many people's eyes. You know, that you would just be, yeah, oh, he's just a saxophone player. But God used that platform. God helped me and used that, made me serve, made me to, to work my gift, to work my craft, to, to know how to perform my craft. Yes, yes, yes. And then, bam, he released me. Do you understand? So if, don't be quick. Don't, some people just don't get it. And I, I just pray, especially younger people. Oh, they're not paying us well. Okay. You know, are there other factors that are not making them pay you well? And if there are no other factors, just say, is God allowing you to stay there? Then, you know, stay there. So, same thing I'll say to any artist, a recording artist. Oh, I said to them, listen, one of the major things is make sure you're called to do what you're doing. That's a, that's a, that's a best, in fact, the only requirement. If God has you called know? you. How do you know you're called? It's by going to God. Who have you seen? You go to the writer, the person who own, owns your life. You don't. That's the only way you go. Everything. You see, God is the center of everything. Everything revolves around around God. Like the songwriter, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, Jesus. Um, Israel. 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 Yeah. Israel is everything. everything revolves around God. You need this. You ask me. God wants us to depend on Him. <laughs> he wants to. I mean, He wants us to all the way. All the way, 
he said to uh, Abraham, go to a land that I will show you. My God, that's the craziest thing ever. You know, you can imagine Abraham then trying to tell his folks, oh, I'm going somewhere. God told me to leave. Where are you going to? I don't know. Ah, but, you know, it, but because God wanted him at every step to depend on God. So I want left. So to know that you are called, you must go. Somebody called me recently, just like you're asking me. One boy, he works for me. He used to be my, um, uh, used to, he works for me in my publicity, my PR. And he said, you know, God, I have a feeling that God is telling me to um, release a song. And I said, do you want to hear my honest opinion? I don't want to stand because you are even calling me the right time because this is what God is teaching me. I said, I'm a sound spiritual, you know, I'm not saying I'm a, you know, holy, holy, gym, gym. but this is my advice to you. If you listen to me, I trust, trust God, you will do well in what you're doing. I said, can you fast for three days, just seeking God, that God, is this what you want me to do? I don't want to hear what others are saying. People are saying, ah, you should release a song. Okay, now, I want to do it, but what are you saying? I said, there's no way, if God doesn't speak to you the way you understand, don't talk to me again. Go and fast, and truly fast. You see, people just don't do it. Go and fast and seek God. Ask him. I want to do this. Is this what you want me to do? Your Speak mic is working again. Oh, again, because I'm moving. I'm going. So, it's, I said, speak to God, ask Him fast for three days, or separate yourself and consecrate yourself. Ask Him for this. That is what you need to do. The foundation is important. Once you can get it and you can hear Him, trust me. It doesn't mean that, oh, as soon as you hear Him, then things will start falling in place. It might be, or it might not, you know. You might not, things might not, but if he's called you, my sister, God will take you all through. Listen, when things go wrong, I go back to God. I ask him, I say, ah, <laughs> Shabi, you asked me to do this. Thing. Yeah, you said let us reason together. Oh, yeah, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Abi, I will do it all. I'm not worried to fail, except you didn't call me to do it. That's my, that's usually my word, except you didn't call me to do this thing I'm doing. So, so for me, that's a victory. Whether that thing works out well or not, it still didn't mean that God didn't call you. Oh God, you have obeyed God. Trust me, it's record for something else that God wants to do. It would, something you, you will realize it's one day that, oh, 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 oh. so this is why, just like I'm realizing that, Releasing a song every every week has helped my editing, has helped my... In this lockdown, Buki, I have been as busy as the be before pre-COVID. I'm not... Any, I'm ministering everywhere. Guess what? Alone. No, I'm not in Nigeria. Nigeria, you can still sneak your guys. We are come, let's quickly. One man band and people are slain in the spirit. People are getting impacted. But I didn't know God was preparing me for this time, you know, in this time was when he said, oh, yeah, I released that album officially. I said, God, I said, release in this COVID. No, no, release. I obeyed him in one week that I got my, that the thing came out on, on thinking, on one platform alone, over 81K. On I, I, do, I, I, mean, I mean, I said, is this how you work? Like, so I am also learning. So you don't have to go through all things I've been through. I'm telling you, what you need to do is depend on God all the way from the beginning. Like the guy I told you, if you will listen, God, I'm telling you, resources, human, capital, financial, God will begin to put things in place. You will receive help because the fact that you are asking God in the first place that, okay, you're not doing your own will, you're submitting to it. And if he wants you to do something else, he will point it, he will bring you your way at, 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 as soon as you, you get out of that prayer. I told him. So that's the same thing I would tell anyone. There's no way. God has a way of reaching you. You just haven't found that. So you need to, because that's, in fact, that's the first thing you need to say to you. How do I hear God? Because how? In this life, I mean, you, just like these days, we have Google Map. Thank God for Google Map. You know, I mean, how do you know places if you don't, you have to go to the map. You have to go to the one who's giving you, who called you to do whatever you're doing. He has a purpose for your life. You don't have it. You didn't create yourself, just like you didn't have purpose. If maybe, if I had, 
if I had my option, maybe I'll say they should buy. I uh, should be giving birth in the richest part of the world, not even UK or England, because there are other places that you know where they are born millionaires. I would have asked God for that, but He has a purpose. Why I planted you to be a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, uh, an American? He has a reason. And that reason, if you don't go to him, you can't find that. That's why we, we mess around. We go around because we're trying to jump. Figure it out. Figure it out. Unfortunately, people spend the whole of their lives still trying to figure out what their calling is. The fact that I'm a saxophonist might not be my exact calling. I'm waiting for where maybe God is, is a journey. People need me too. It, it, there you go. It's oh. taking me somewhere. And I don't want to miss it. I have not come to resign. I'm 46 years, 45 years old, but I'm not going to resign on what I'm doing right now because I'm waiting. Well, what else? What else? What else, God? I want to know. I want to learn. I remember just a few years ago, I said, you know what? I need a regular form of income, you know? And I started doing, you know, doing a lot of IT stuff. I started electrical electronics. My brain is, my brain isn't dead, you know? I, I, okay, let's go for it. Blah, 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 blah. I did all. Encourage others to get it. I encourage, listen to mark my word, encourage other people around me that like, this is it now. You have to learn software testing. You have to blah, blah, blah. And then I did it. And in a way, you could feel God saying, <laughs> Oh, yeah, now go and be looking for, uh, go and be looking for work. Like this is what I've called you. are bigger than this, Mike. I have called you. I have a purpose for your life. Do this. This is not what I've called you to do. And of, see, as soon as I I got a call to go to, to go to America, so to go and minister in America. And it's on the plane. God was saying, this is what I've called you for. This is you. Don't compare your life with anybody else. Your needs, your supply is in me. Until you learn, Mike, to focus on me, this is what you must learn. I say, God, the boys that I, I, I advise, they're all doing well, but their houses as well, you know, do you understand? So that is how God works. Your My lane is different from you. God is and there are certain gifts that is that are unique to you, Buki, that I will never there's no way I will operate in. It's just that asking me to rap. It's, a, it's, it's something I don't have. I'm not I'm not the one that will cram. I don't know how to cram or you know, that's not my life. I'm not stereotyped. I like spontaneity. This is me. I cannot try and do what you're doing. Do you understand? So that and is life. That is you know, you know. To simplify it for people that are watching, everything you're saying is so on point. And I think that if you're afraid or you're unsure of how to hear God, hmm. the little promptings in your heart, hmm. the desires that keep you hmm. up at night and wake you up in the morning, there those things, as long as you are in alignment, it's not somebody else's wife or husband, or, yeah. no, uh -huh. as long as it's in alignment, because I remember mm. when you and I were on tour, American mm. tour, and yeah. we were, we had done Dallas, Pastor Rockbo in Dallas, and then we yeah. came to Schomburg or something. Yeah, Schomburg, we yeah. Yeah, we were backstage, and I said, Mike, there's more. Remember? Do you remember? Mm. We were of backstage. Course, of I was like, Mike, there's more. There's more, and you know, guys mm. make fun of me. They're booking, mm. I people, but I was like, I, I feel mm. this. I can't just be singing to redeem. I, that's not what I want. Mm. I don't, mm. I, I, don't, I don't want that. I want more. I want mm. more. And everybody mm. was like, okay, take more. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. But we agreed mm. that there is more. And mm. what did we do? To show our, because this is faith. A lot of people don't understand this concept of faith. Faith mm. is the assurance, the mm. knowing, the deep knowing in your mm. heart. Faith is the assurance of things you hope for. Number one, when it is hope, it's because mm. you don't have it. Mm. Mm. So why would mm -hmm. you tell me to be so sure of something mm. I hope in? The reason why mm. I hope in it is because it's not here. The evidence. Mm. The reason why something is evidence is because I can't see it. Ah, I see. Mm. So you're not saying the evidence of things not seen. That is a contradictory mm. statement. It's crazy. <laughs> but you mm. see, the moment you grasp that, if there's a flight of steps here now, like this my steps here, mm. I can walk confidently without thinking about it. Mm. 
that these steps mm. will take me up to the other floor. Mm. If I want to believe that there are steps here, I have to take mm. a step like it's already there. Even mm. though it's not there, if I want it to be there, my responsibility mm. is to take that first step like it is there and then it yeah. will be created as long mm. as it's in alignment with my destiny. Do you understand? Yes. That's, that is faith mm. that you believe mm. so much that this thing is not what it is. And I remember mm. that time I told you, I said, there is more. Mm. And in my mind, mm. I will wake up, I'll be like, I can't just be, this is not what mm. I, I, this is mm. more. I'm more, more than this. Mm. I'm more than this. I'm bigger. My brother mm. will the mm. song. I'm bigger than this, you know. I'm mm. bigger, I'm bigger, I'm bigger. And mm. I was like, in my mind, I'm better. Like, no. And for me, a lot of people, remember, people were like, I mean, mm. how are you guys doing all this talk? How are you? Uh, it was already, it was already, yeah. you know, it was, like, nah, it was you are looking beyond that. You were, you were already looking beyond that. Beyond mm. that. But you see, mm. I took the necessary steps because I believed they were crazy. Mm. You know, mm. so I just want to uh, encourage someone now that's watching that. Uh, how do I hear the voice of God? Mm. He will not come to mm. you by, oh yeah, cookies, uh. that, oh, <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes, sometimes it can be, it will declare straight, clear cut instructions from God because of intimacy. Mm. The level of your intimacy mm. will determine that, you know, but yeah. you will feel it. You know, like you said, my sheep hear my voice. Well, yeah. So the stranger, they will not follow me. They will not follow. Yeah. They will hear. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, but you will not. You know that this is not. <laughs> preach it, preach it, you know, preach it. You know, it's not like saying. But you understand what I'm saying? This concept mm. of aligning with your destiny, you mm. know, is talking about going back to God. When I hear people that don't have a like, clear for what you want to do. I want to be a doctor. What do you want to do tomorrow? Mm. I want to be an engineer. What you, mm. you don't mm. have is because you don't know who you trust. Mm. 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 That God shall be strong and do exploits. So now they will do exploits. Like you know, mm. the moment mm. you know that this is who this 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 force is, this God is in mm. my life. Mm. And you don't mm. worship at the at the shrine of what you have in mind. The mm. moment you give it up, that's you know, because like I said, I'm a writer. So it's your interview. I'm sorry. I'm taking this from. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we're, we're having a chat. No, it's not my. Just I'm. I'm. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. You know. You know. When they say, "Oh God, I give you my will," I give. What does it really mean? Mm, mm, mm. No, think about it. What does it really mean? I have mm. my own plans. I have mm. my plans that I've already mm. written in stone. But mm. am I liquid enough? Am I fluid enough? To to, to you know, uh, just let him say, I don't want that. Let mm. me tell you a secret that I did when I became born again, because I know my creativity and I know how I reason and I know how I think. I mm. said to myself, God, I said to God, I said, God, mm. I'm very smart and I know it. And mm. I know you gave me that wittiness and that wisdom mm. and you can work against me. Mm. So you and I mm. let's talk. This is my will <laughs> me. me. I'm giving mm. it back to you. Mm. If it's mm. not your will, shut it down and I'm okay with it. That's true. Cut yeah. it off. Relationship yeah. shut it, mm. shut the door, break the knob. I am mm. good mm. with it. Because mm. I know that I might try to do it by myself and it will work out. But where mm. it will get me to at the end of the day will be somewhere I don't want to be. Mm, so because mm, the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered, are ordered of the Lord. I yeah. put my steps in your hands. You know the way I think. I just have to commit my life into your hands. And mm. it's not like I don't want to take responsibility for my choices. I will. But what mm, I'm saying mm. is, God, no mm. matter how much I love this, if it is mm. not your will, once He shuts a relationship down, you will never see mm. me standing there saying, ah, mm. once that season is over. It's over. Once he shut mm. something down, because I do know something, Romans 8, 28. Mm. All of these things work together. Mm. Work together. Because I'm the key actor in my own game of life, right? Yep, yep. He might work mm. together for that person on another tangent. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's working together for me. This for... equation is for mm. me. So even yeah. if I try to it, 
Even if mm. I almost die to it, I mm. know it's a muscle memory. And you know how I, mean, I believed it. You know how I mm. believed it. Small by small, like they say. I started with a little headache. I started with needing a ride from the junction to school. I started with it. So it was like a muscle. And I was working mm. it. I was working mm. it. Ask my family. Once I say something, my family is here. Mm. They can tell mm. you true. Once I say something like this, it's not that I call, call it like a magician. See, I just put all my my focus. focus. Mm. First, I take it to God and I say, God, if mm. this is the will, let it happen. And they know that mm. there's big things I've done and God says no. And I'm okay. I will never mm. sit by a closed door and be mm. saying, uh, Pastor Banjo, <laughs> Pastor, mm. you know, never mm. be knocking at the door, be saying, God, no. God it's okay. Relationship mm. breaks, it's okay. Uh, money mm. finishes, it's okay. Because I know that there must be some, it's a paradigm shift. There must mm. be something God is teaching mm. me in this season. Mm. That is what I want to know. Mm. I mean, God forbid that we, you know, that's why I keep saying every, most of the interviews I've had, God forbid that we go through this season and we're and the not same. Learn. <laughs> <laughs> and not learn. No, let's just, let's just go abandon the Christianity. As in, if you, if everything that is happening is not speaking to you as a body of Christ or individually then there's something wrong if i that's where I, that, I still talk to some people that ah, pass you, my pass you after covid pass you, my pass you after and i'm like it's too less you <laughs> that means <laughs> <laughs> you know like perspective is completely mm. off uh, yeah if this season mm. is not teaching you to look inward if you are still mm. on this call right now it's not a lot mm. of us because we're yeah. talking spiritual things on a good day, yeah. you know. But <laughs> listen, if you're on this call and you wake mm. up thinking, Oh, what am I going to do today? Ah, man, mm. I don't have to get out of bed. You need to go mm. back to your God and say, God, this is the time for me to. Because Joseph, after he went from the pit to the palace to, to the prison, mm. to the prison to the palace, then to Port to Pharaoh, he mm. was the answer. Mm. Mm. He was, he was the answer. Answer. yeah, and mm. everything they needed, he was. I see it like a key, you know. He was like mm. the key, all the ups and downs. God was cutting him to be a perfect key. Mm. So when mm. he came out at the end, he was able to unlock it. Someone, mm. I had a conversation with someone a couple of days ago, and the person was like, "Eh, but uh, you didn't suffer now. You didn't suffer now. Did you uh, suffer?" Uh, I said, "The things that happened to me." Happened to someone else, and they went the wrong di direction. They mm. chose the mm. wrong. They committed mm. suicide. So don't tell me I didn't mm. suffer. The fact that uh, I went through with joy. Joseph mm. was in the prison saying, "Ah, why are you downcast? Mm -hmm. Why would I not be downcast? I am in the prison. Uh, I'm in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said, why are you downcast? He said, mm -hmm. I had a dream. Oh yeah, tell me. He was still willing mm -hmm. to use his gifts. Mm -hmm. the, Even." The, Hmm. No, and no. Go ahead, please. Go, no, no, go, no, 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 please go, 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 please. I, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. Honestly, I am feeling you. Big time. At the end of the day, when he came out, like the story of David, we talked about everything mm. he went through. Mm. Mm. Maybe ah, we need this. We need that. Oh, he now remember muscle memory. You remember mm. in the for in the in the uh, prison. This was how I did it. You know because. Mm. The, Mm. Gave him He's been through it. So it was like this mm. is how I put the ones that killed with knife, mm. ones that mm. killed with uh, mm. spoon, mm. the ones that didn't mm. do. That. You know, he just he was like it was already in him. It didn't have. It to was be ready. It didn't exactly go see that. Why did Potiphar say, "Okay, who else?" They say, well, "Who will we put it? Who shall we put it?" Because God knows. Listen, this is your. This is this. This is the time. I have taken him through this, and God at that particular time spoke to. I believe God spoke to Pharaoh and said, "That is your choice. Who else would it be?" It was him. Just like you said, God has. Imagine talking about Joseph. Imagine when he said, when he must have said his 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 um his dreams to his brothers, and they put him in the pit. And I mean, you know, Joseph's story is crazy. Imagine like, him abandoning, abandoning it. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine say. 
imagine just say okay wow okay so this is the end of the dream without you know yeah, and that's okay. it. just giving up but the guy like he's, the, he never gave up and that's why everywhere he went he walked himself to the top not by yeah. by making it Bible not by influencing mm. ah yeah 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 so wherever you are now just know just make at that workplace let them know that you're there you know never be in a place and not leave an impact let let leave that place and let the shoes you leave like let nobody be able to fit in that is how you you live your life and then your next step in your next level god is ordering it's, it's just like that if you're faithful with small things in that church that you're serving that they are not the choir is maybe just five people and the membership is just 100 people god is testing you for a bigger stage if mm -hmm. If you are if you can be faithful in that church trust me it will not matter the numbers it's just the experience that will matter so just keep at what you're doing listen to god what we're saying here is that whatever you do, everything revolves in conclusion everything revolves around god everything that you're going through god is trying to say something to you and make sure you don't miss that thing that god is saying to you in whatever situation just like the covid situation do not miss what God is saying. Things are happening around you, and you're thinking, "Wow, where? How does it fit to? How do I? Where do I fit in this situation?" This is the time to go back to God. Maybe we all need to go back to God and say, "God, what would you have us do with this? What are we? What, what should we learn individually? What should I learn? What what has? What should I do differently in my life?" I think this is what we should do. You know, we do with this. So whatever you're going through, it's not been rosy with anybody. Trust me. Let nobody just deceive you that oh everything you oh I was born in a silver spoon. Yes, there are other things people born with silver spoon go through that you know you would just wish ah. Thank God, I'm not going to. Uh, I prefer my 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 poor level. Ah, uh, I don't want that kind of. <laughs> my wooden spoon. Hey, I, I let, let me just see, let me file it very well, you know, because everybody is that uh, God deals with us on an individual level. We don't, so that's why you must have a personal. It's personal. You, the way God will deal with Joseph will be different from the way He will deal with Moses. It will be different from the way He did. It was different from the way we, He dealt with David. It was different from the way He dealt with Joshua after Tell Moses. Me. The, the everything was, you know, yeah. it was tailor-made. You are different, just like your palm. Every part of you is so unique. Your life, your destiny is unique, and that's why we all come. Where it's like a puzzle. We all come and fit, you know, and it all works together for his purpose, his ultimate purpose, and you know, for 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 the world. So, you know, no, no, nothing you're going through is to bring you down. Trust me, it might be painful. In my own case, I could have taken my life, and I always thank God for for a second chance, for giving me a chance, second chance to know Him, even in a better way. I'm, I have one of the best marriages in the whole universe, as far as I'm concerned, you know, and thanks to what I went through in the first place, it made me value marriage more, it made me value, you know, everything worked together for good. Wow. Amen and yes. amen. Amen. Release yeah. control, people. Release. Some people are control freaks, even with God. Mm. They'll be wrestling mm. with ah. God, wrestling ah. with God. You're weak. Uh, you're your life uh. is <laughs> uh, you know, you wow. were there. <laughs> ah, man. Wow. Can you, can, you, yeah. can you just seal this great session with some plain? Serenade us okay. with your, <laughs> with your yeah, because I'll put see, this one we got ready. I'll just be talking here. Yeah? This mm. season, as if if this season hasn't showed you your gifting, you need to stop. Not you, Mike. I'm just talking generally. You need to just stop and say, God, why am I here? Who am I? Why am I here? Why did you bring me here? Where am I going? How do I get there? All these answers can be found in God. You know, mm. it's not by manufacturing anything or conjuring anything. You know, yes, your gifts could be indicators and all that, but ultimately submit it at the feet of God and let him direct your path. While we get ready for Mike Ferry. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs>
Soundtrack. I don't yeah. have the soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> so that means I'll sing. <laughs> uh, Oh, 
Bless and make love. You know? Wow, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for taking Thank time. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you. We need to catch up properly, not on yeah. Insta.